Oak Woodland is brought to you by the Terwilliger Nature Education Legacy. <laughs> Says today is gonna be a good day. Something Hi, Hi, inside Hi, me says Hi, today Hi, is Hi, gonna Hi, be fun. Hi, Something Hi, inside me says today is gonna be a good day. Something inside me Hi, says Hi, today Hi, is gonna be fun. Today is gonna be a good day. Today is gonna be fun. Today is gonna be a good day. Today is gonna be fun. Today is gonna be a good day. Something special. Everybody, come here a minute. Today is gonna be a good day. Today is gonna be fun. Don't go near it; it'll run away. Anybody home there? Yep. Oh, there's a big beetle. Hold your hand, it's left. Mr. Beetle won't hurt you. <laughs> Turn it over. Now, how many legs does he Six. have? And two feelers. Where, where did he go? Help me call him, Mr. Beetle. <laughs> He's a good turner. Look, watch him turn now. Everybody watch. Watch. Watch him. Watch him use that back leg. Hold him just a minute. There he goes. Look at that. Anybody home? Who is it? Mr. Millipede. Hey, yeah. he's going up again. <laughs> he turned over. And he's one of the people that helped chew up the wood and turn it back to earth again. Oh, he's going to hang on. Here's Mr. Centipede, right there. He's the color of sap. Hold up, Mr. Centipede. Whoa, stay there, Mr. Centipede. Does he have as many legs as Mr. Millipede? No. No. Now be careful of Mr. Centipede. This one is small, yeah, I but the bigger oh, ones so. can sting like a bee. Aaron found the Anybody home? Oh, oh no! Look at this. This is Mrs. Black Widow Spider. You can tell by the two red triangles on her belly. Don't ever touch her. She has a very dangerous bite. Be very careful. Shiny black spider, eight pointed legs, looking for a good place to go and lay her eggs. You're graceful and mysterious, beautiful, but there. That red spot on your belly means visitors beware. Visitors beware. This is where she lives. But will we hold a black widow? No. no. Let's put the roof back on. Come and have a piece of the log. Hurry up, the termites are nearly gone. The termites are leaving. There they are, down in there. Oh, yes. I don't go my sleeves. Mr. Termite with wings, and he just flies one day, and that's the only time he gets to fly. Then he has to goes right to a log, and he loses his wings, and then he lives right in that log. And look, this is how they chew up the wood to turn it back to earth. I got a lucky and I'll put it in your head. Wood. This is Mother Nature's plan to have the insects all work together to turn oh this wood back to fresh earth so all the plants can grow. Uh, wipe your hands off on the moss. Go back over there by the rock where the moss is and you're, that's Mother Nature's scrubbing material and, and towel. What color is the moss? Green. Feel how soft this is. <gasps> Now, is this a big forest full of trees everywhere? Yeah. No. No. Do you see all the grassland? These trees, I grow here and I grow here. And because there are so many different kinds of oaks here, we call this an oak woodland. Take a paintbrush and paint her leaves all green because you know what? She's green all year long. So this is Mrs. Live Oak. Now, hold up your fingers and put some new little green leaves on it. And then you know what? Those trees lose their leaves. Mrs. Black Oak, Mrs. White Oak. Look up, you folks, something special. Look up in the tree. Do you see those big green lumps? Do you know, what is it? Mistletoe. mistletoe. And when do we use mistletoe? Christmas. And what do we use it for? Hang it up on 
his people, whoever goes on it. Somebody's been eating on this. They just took little nimbles on this one. Probably one of those little caterpillars. <coughs> Mr. Bullfrog, wait a minute. Go back in the water, Mr. Bullfrog. Go back in the water. <laughs> Oh, let's count. Wait, while you've got him, let's count his toes. Oh, I wish he'd talk to us. Five toes and a big blunt nose with rivets all over my body. I was just sitting knee deep in my old frog pond when I became the life of the party. Hey, kids, easy on my legs. Remember, I'm just a little old frog. I'm not used to all this attention. He also says chug a room. Ah, chug a room yourself. Can I get no respect around here? Put him down, let's watch him now. Oh, look, he's swimming too. Well, look how he pushes with his hind legs. Let's watch we him. We work together, together. We all work together. Each contributes oh, to the other. That's a polymer. Doing the best that he can together. Together, you can see us working together. The animals, the plants, and the rocks all over this land. Do -do 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 -do. Here's a California newt. Uh-uh. He's so, he's like a baby. Uh-huh. I know, but he soft is Soft like a baby. baby. Could you talk to us? He's soft. Isn't he soft? Oh, <laughs> let's put the newt in the water <clears throat> and see if he can swim. Because she says it's time for me to lay my eggs. She says, I like I'm it up sure. in the trees, too, where all the dead the wood is. Dead. I'm going to walk down to the water and lay my eggs. Let's see if we can find any eggs. Look carefully all along the edge. I found it. Look at the babies in there, look. See them? They're not hatched yeah. yet, but they're beginning to grow. Oh, look, that's pretty strong. Isn't that nice? Look at the eggs in there, see them beginning? Pretty soon they'll start wiggling. Oh. I am a rock, a very, very strong rock. I don't even turn red when you stand on my head or trip over me while you walk. I am a rock, and if you're thinking what good is a rock, one reason alone, I'm somebody's home, and that makes me glad I'm a rock. Somebody's house under that rock, look. Oh, what does Skip have? Do you know what his name's going to be? Ring neck. Now, when we pick him up, how do we pick him up? By the back of the neck. And how do we hold him? Firmly but gently. Hold your hand flat and we'll put him in your hand. He just tickles. I'm the to hold him. Let's say hi, ring neck snake. And I work together, together. We all work together. Each this is a spit to the other, do the best that he can. Together, together, you can see us working together. The animals, the plants, and the rocks all over this land. Here's a scorpion. Don't the animals, the plants, and the rocks all over this land. Everybody on the rock. Look, look at the barbed wire. Come here. Look. You see? What they do is they put this barbed wire up to this tree to tack it and they tack it into the tree to hold the cows in, right? Oh. Keep the cows from getting out. And then the tree, it starts to, barbed wire starts digging in and the tree starts growing over because it hurts. The tree starts growing over the barbed wire so it doesn't hurt anymore. Mm. Alright, everybody see the cows over there? Yeah. Now then, wherever cows are, they chew the grass, it goes through their body, and what their body doesn't need drops down on the ground. And a lot of children call these cow pies. And this is manure, and it's very important to give fertilizer to your garden and to the whole field like this, and then this is where the mushrooms grow. And you will see all kinds of mushrooms. Where do mushrooms grow? Because it's just the right kind of fertilizer that's there. 
What colors do you see? I brown. see brown. Oh. Right inside down here. Some of them, a black one. some mushrooms are poisonous. Yes. <laughs> Owl pellets, these owls, they when they eat a little mouse or whatever they eat, they take eat the whole thing. They eat the fur and the bones and the whole thing. And then instead of having they don't di they don't digest the whole thing, they, they upchuck this little pellet. And then they have see this, see these little bones? Out comes these little bones and fur, this fur and feathers and everything. All the stuff that they can't digest. See here? Great horned owls, they they live all up around here and they come out at night and flies around and eats these little, these little mice. Field mice. Uh, yeah, field mice, that's right. They live in the gra grass. This is Phil and Reed. We're going to make a special scissors for the fairies. We're going to make a little slit in one end and put the other end through and they're the fairy scissors. Does, does the fairy just run down to the store to buy a pair of scissors? Yeah. So Mother Nature says, I'm going to fix you some scissors just for you. Booker. Put your fingers on that part right there. Oh, good. Open and close your scissors. Oh, you're okay, beautiful. You made one. I got a whole bunch of them. Oh, I yes. can make them at home. All right. Let's see if we can find enough for a crown. Could I Amy, you help. There's some. Jill, you help, too. Look at here. Here, Jill. Here's another one. What's this? This is tea. What's this stuff called? This is your bed straw. Hiking up in the mountains and you forgot your sleeping bag and you look around for this plant and you stuff it in a mattress cover. Close your eyes and dress yourself up. Imagine your soul as a buttercup. You're a prince or a princess And you now have the chance To go to the elf fairy dance Dance, dance The elf fairy dance <laughs> oh, Everybody look at the fire Are those big sticks or little sticks? Some big, some little Right, now be careful when you build a fire that you don't use poison oak. See that smoke? Mm -hmm. Because if you build a fire with poison oak, that smoke will get all over you and you'll break out all red and you'll just itch terribly. My smell is going to get on fire. Look where the sun is. Around. Is the sun going down? Yeah. yeah. Right, now everybody close your eyes and listen. Hold up five fingers, because the daddy owl will come by in a few minutes. Let me have five deep hoos. Yeah, see the bird up in the tree up Rocks there. and logs, newts and frogs, racing through my mind. Along with all the other things that made this day so fine. Special things in special places, working hand in hand. Helping me to recognize my part in this plan. We work together, together. We all work together. Each contributes to the other. Doing the best that we can. Together, together you can see us working together. The animals, the plants, and the rocks all over this land. The animals, the plants, and the rocks all over this land. Water! What else with the water makes the steam? Fire. He's making a noise. Heat. Do we leave any sparks at all? Because what would happen if we left some sparks? Do we want that to happen? Now what we better do is everybody take the one end of the stick and go put it down on the edge of the water. For more information, visit our website, www.terwilligerfilms.org.
Redwood Forest, Stream, Ocean Beach, and Butterfly Trees is brought to you by the Terwilliger Nature Education Legacy. bark of the buckeye. It's smooth. It's not rough like other trees. And Amy, look up at the tree. How many leaves on the stem do you see? Oh, five, just like your hand. Spread them out and pull them together. Then just put a dot for a back toe. Now with your first finger, pad in the earth between the big toes for webs. And that's Mr. Seagull's feet. Everybody feel your ears. What are they for? Ears. Everybody feel your eyes. What are they for? See. Everybody feel your nose. What's that for? Smell. Everybody do this. Now what are we doing? Tasting. Now everybody do this. What are we doing? Feeling. Oh, hello, Amy. <laughs> she popped right in. She popped right in. <laughs> everybody yep. look up. Because when we go for a walk, we look up to see what's there. And then we look around. Everybody look around. And then we look down to see who came oh, by in the night. Amy, look what's on the rock. A banana slug. Did you ever hold one in your hand? No. Let's pick it up very gently because they're pretty squishy. And hold your hand flat. They're kind of slimy. Touch it gently with your other finger and feel it. Look at the stripes on it. What does it feel like? Like, um, it's smushy and gushy. Do you know what he's going to have for lunch? No. He likes mushrooms, and he helps eat up all the leaves and grasses that fall on the ground. <laughs> Redwood trees are the tallest trees in our country. They live on and on. Really, they're older than our fathers, our grandfathers, our great-grandfathers. They were here before anybody ever came to this country. A long time ago, some people came through and said, let's cut these down. Look how many houses we can build. But other people came through and they said, no. They are so beautiful. Let us save them. This is Terrella Graham. Or poison oak. Oh, but Brad, don't touch it. Because if you touch that poison oak, do you get poison oak? Yes. And then he touches you, you know what? He will be giving you poison oak. So don't anybody touch it so that nobody gets it, all right? 
All right, let's wave to Poison Oak. Hi, Poison Oak. Hi, Poison Oak. Stay right there. Stay right there. Everybody hold up five fingers. Because when we go for a walk, remember five things that are poisonous. So we've already talked about poison oak. Now everybody hold a finger like this. Everybody paint your finger green. Put red spots on it. Give it a flat white blossom. Now give it a lacy and leaf like a carrot. Poisonous. That's right. Now pick that leaf, squish it and smell it. Oh, it oh. smells terrible. This is poison hemlock. Oh. And because it smells so bad, <clears throat> that's Mother Nature's way of telling you to leave it alone. Now everybody hold your hand like this and your finger like this. That's poisonous. What's it going to be? Toadstool. Are we going to eat any mushroom that we find? No. no. Oh, now everybody make a triangle like this. All right, put your triangle on your tummy like this. Now swing your triangle up like this. Now paint your triangles red. Paint your bodies all black and give you eight legs. And you live under a rock or under a log. Who are you going to be? Black widow. Black widow. Black widow spider. Now hold your finger like this. Now feel your finger that it goes in a little bit at the first knuckle. Now let your little finger stick out like this. And pretend that's a pencil point. When you go for a walk in California and you find a snake whose head is like your finger and whose tail is like a pencil point, you can pick him up. Hey, you guys, we found a snake, a baby garden snake. Oh, uh, hello there. I'm sorry I found you. You didn't want to be caught, did you? <laughs> oh, wait a minute, everybody feel your jaw. If you go for a walk and you find a snake with a jaw like yours and rattles on the end, who's he going to be? Mr. Are you going to pick him up? No. Here is Mr. Fireweed, and Mr. Fireweed has fuzz on him. Well, what are we blowing? See, what are those white things in there? Yes, this is Mother Nature's parachute. Look yes, at our parachute. parachute. Look, Ooh. there they go. Way up high. And you know what? The birds say we're going to use this to build our nests with. Blow again. <laughs> and blow hard. And way up high. Look up high, there go. Let's see what else we can find. <laughs> I like looking at trees, the smell of the sea, the sound of songbirds singing. Say hello, Mr. Sun, I'm having fun, outside happy and free. Take a walk any Saturday, let your senses show you, touch and smell and hear and taste, take a look, see what's around. It's a cool summer day, so dream away. All that may confine you. Look around you and say, I'm on my way. Outside happy, I'm outside happy. We're outside happy and free. Up a minute and see if anybody's flying by. Let's call Mr. Turkey Vulture. Mr. Turkey Mr. Vulture. Mr. Vulture. When it rains, all the droplets come on the leaves and down the stems and down the hills and form the stream. And then the stream flows down, 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 right to the ocean. Look what's on the rock. What do you suppose this is? Starfish. Now feel Mr. Starfish.